So I told Jeff about the many same-sex couples and their children who are wonderful parents with loved, loving and well-adjusted kids, and the response was overwhelming. And today I want to share just a few of their comments with you. Liz said that so many same-sex couples have children, and while these attitudes make me angry, I worry about the hurt they will cause any of my future kids. Another person, Rial, said, Gay couples are not asking anything but equal rights. No idea what he is talking about. My children grew up with three parents, their mother and me when they were bet between their birth and preschool, and then they came living with me and my gay partner, as their mother was unable at the time to have them. We love our children, and they always have frequent contact with their mother. There was never a conflict or disagreement, and my children have grown up into balanced and happy adults. All I am saying is that when love guides your hearts and actions, there is no problem. Sarah told me or asked, what about the millions of children who have lost one or both natural parents? Sure, makes them feel great to be told they should have natural parents. And Matthew said, this is the perfect example of why a plebiscite might be civil in the Prime Minister's eyes and in the Parliament, where people's jobs hinge on their choice of words, but in the eye of any lesbian, gay, bi or trans person or their families, on the level of the talk on the street and social media, it will be anything but. So don't be like Jeff, but also don't encourage Jeff. Encouraging Jeff and the others like him is exactly what a plebiscite would do. And even worse would be to give the people opposed to Jeff, opposed to marriage equality, $10 million, on top of the $160 million plus that we've already been spending to amplify their tax. I mean, politicians, we're used to it. Some would even say we're paid to cop it, but the others don't need this, and a plebiscite would give a megaphone to the haters. And it would tell us what we already know, that the vast majority of Australians are ready for marriage equality, way past ready.